here we have two motherboards mailed over by the same customer that came in for repair. Motherboard number one has a note with an arrow pointing to this connector that appears to be empty by default. The factory intended for this connector to be empty, but the customer wrote a note, ribbon cable connector to be installed here. I do not know. This one looks like it's a backlight, keyboard backlight connector. And the second motherboard reads parts, motherboards. So he sent us a donor board and this board here. Customer also chose expedited service and he mailed over a check for $95 for our expedited service charge. We require anyone who chose the expedited service to mail a check for the amount. Customer wrote expedited service, check enclosed $95, happy new year. Thank you for your assistance and service. Documents are enclosed per your instructions. And we have the ticket number, so we need to look at the ticket. And if we read what the customer wrote, I have a Dell Inspiron laptop I'm upgrading. I want to add a backlight keyboard. The refurbished motherboard does not have a flat ribbon connector. I have another motherboard with the ribbon connector. Six solder joints total. So just like I thought, the connector is empty by default. You can tell by the solder joints, this connector was not ripped off. And the reason this connector is not part of the board is because that's how Dell makes their money. They offer you a laptop without the backlight functionality and they offer you a laptop with the backlight functionality. All they have to do is solder a $1 connector to make that happen. Now the customer looks like he bought this motherboard refurbished and he wants to add the backlight functionality. He included a donor motherboard. And if we look at the donor board, it looks exactly the same. It looks like the customer's motherboard went bad. He bought another one, but it did not come with the backlight connector. So where is the backlight connector? Right here. Let's go under the microscope. And that's the connector that we're going to be using. We're going to have to desolder this one, and we're going to install it on the good one, the good board. Now, we cannot apply hot air from the top because we do not want to burn the connector. We do not have another one, and we have to do this as safely as possible. We have two options. Option number one is we can apply hot air from the bottom, and we can safely remove the connector. Or option number two is we can use low melt solder. Apply low melt solder on the legs, the back legs here, and apply low melt solder on the four front fins, and we should be able to easily remove the connector. We're going to use hot air to remove the connector. Like a customer who came in and bought a lot of stuff yesterday. And he came in about two weeks ago and also bought a lot of stuff, but he still does not have a hot air station. He said that he uses his soldering iron. So I told him a hot air station is important. But in case you do not have a hot air station, you can use low melt solder and your soldering iron to remove that connector. done nice and smooth like Michael Jackson would say smooth criminal now we're gonna apply that solder and then we're gonna reflow the connector the same way that we remove the connector we're gonna apply heat from the bottom but before we do so we need to apply leaded solder because currently the board has unleaded solder which takes a lot of heat to liquefy and that's the reason why we use leaded solder apply flux because flux helps with the flow of solder and we have viewers up to this day they ask what's that gooey stuff that you apply and I mentioned flux in every video in every single video and I mentioned that we are a distributor for the flux you can buy it off our site northridgefix.com click on shop and search for Amtec 559 or just search for 559. We are a distributor for a lot of the tools that we sell. We sell everything from soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal cameras, the flux, tweezers, the braid, the soldering braid, cutters, strippers, everything that we use in the shop here, we sell on our side. And recently, 
we did a video on the NF. Fume extractor. It's a number one seller the past few days since I made that video. The fume extractor is such an amazing device. And I went over it. If you have not seen the video, just go a few videos back or search for Northridge Fix, NF.Fume or Fume Extractor Northridge Fix. It's an amazing fume extractor. I went over how it works. And people love it. Let's solder that connector. And the customer would be happy to know that we added a backlight functionality to his motherboard. It's something that Dell could have done for an extra dollar. But what can you do? And let's get rid of the glare. And we can clean off later. Apply hot air from the bottom. Once solder liquefies, the connector is going to settle in place. And we are done. Right now you cannot see reflections of the flux or the glare because we have the anti-glare light on. If you have not bought yourself an anti-glare light yet, just log into our website, northwitchfix.com and pick one up. It's money well spent. I'm not saying this so you can buy it. It's something that you must have if you micro solder or you do this as a hobby. We solder the connector right over here. That's the keyboard connector, and that's the backlight connector. And if we tilt the board and we check on the connector, just look at this. Look at the alignment on the connector, and look at how beautiful the connector is soldered. Very nice. And we are done. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.